Hi guys, CJ here. So I thought I'd do a quick video before I jump on the motorway and head over to Southampton to drop my little niece off. So it's been an interesting week, an eventful week, busy week looking after a five-year-old. But hey, you know, these are the things that we enjoy doing and, you know, we seek opportunities to spend more time with friends, families and, and enjoy life. But look, I wanted to talk about something very important. A lot of people are misguided. A lot of people don't start a property business because they've been told or they've, they've had the impression that it's one of the most difficult things in the world to do because some people try and overcomplicate it and make it sound like property and land is so exclusive and it's for the rich and the famous but hey that's not true so I want to give you five steps five simple steps that you can do to start your property business and you should follow it because it's worked for me and it's worked for hundreds of other people. So number one, discover the different types of property strategies. There are millions out there. You can't do all of them. So find out about every single one of them in your country or, or, or in the area that you're in. Find out more about them. There's service accommodation, there's rent to rent, there's flips, there's BRR, there's HMOs, there's rent to rent HMOs, there's rent to rent service accommodation. There are tons of them. So find out more, read more. And listen, Google is your best friend. So all the ones that I've mentioned, in fact, these are just typical ones. Spend some time on Google, finding out more about them. And then guess what? Attend the free event. There's always a free event that's explaining more about how these things work. Go to that free event, take as many notes as possible. But I want to give you one tip. When you go to these events, take your business card, take your pens and papers. The most important thing you can do at these events is find a JV partner. There are going to be many people who are there because they've heard about property, but they don't have the time to run a property business. But guess what they've got? They've got the money. So it's either you find a JV partner, which means joint venture. So that's someone that's ready to put up the money, or maybe you're ready to put up the money and they're ready to do the work. Or you find a PYMU, which is put your money up person. So that's someone that says, hey, listen, I've got all the cash in the world or I've got some money not doing anything for me. I'm going to give it to you and you're going to run the business and you're going to take care of everything. And I just receive a certain income back or a certain feedback every single month or whatever your agreement with is. There are lots and lots and lots of PYMUs. There are lots of people that are ready to put their money up and give it to you. It sounds really bonkers. You don't have, look, the old impression was you had to have lots and lots of money to start in property. And that's not the case. I'm not saying you don't have to have anything. But you have to bring something to the table. So no one is going to give you money just so that you can go and spend that money. Make sure you understand the strategies. Attend a relevant um, event that's explaining more about that strategy. And also network during that event as well. But number three, this is number three. Consider your circumstance. So if you're interested in, let's say, um, a flip. If you're interested in HMOs, if you're interested in buy to lets, if you're in whatever you're interested in, consider your circumstance first. So consider your income. Consider whether you can actually qualify for a mortgage. Consider whether you've got debt. Consider whether someone's going to actually give you money to run these businesses. And if that's the case and you can't find a solution via a broker to help you get those properties, then maybe look at another strategy. Listen, don't go buying into certain courses or certain um, property strategies if you have no means of acquiring that property. So don't make the mistake to get an excited because something sounds great and hey, you know what, you're going to retire in two days and listen, if you start this property business, you're going to be rich in 24 hours listen they're pulling your leg that's the truth don't get me wrong there are strategies that can really make you a good income a great income in fact but number three as i said is consider your own individual situation and guess what go back to number two that's where that really helps you out if you found a jv partner or a pmyu person or pymu person then you might be able to get a mortgage because maybe they can take on the mortgage and you have a commercial or you have a jv agreement with them so get these things, you know, get them rocking and rolling in your mind so you can find a creative solution. Um, number four, get accountable. You need to get yourself accountable. There's no point saying, hey, listen, I've got this great opportunity. I've got someone that's ready to put the money up or I'm going to use my own money. And then you don't start the business because you're not accountable. So find someone else who believes in your goal. Find someone else who says, you know what? I'm standing right behind you. And if you don't achieve your goals, then guess what? This and this and this is going to happen. I have this saying, well, it's not, I don't make up the saying, but it's called put your money where your mouth is or put your money up. 
if you're talking on that big talk, you found out about the property strategy, you found out what one works for you, you found out which one is relevant or which one is best for your circumstance, then get someone that's pushing you, pushing you, pushing you, which is why you should always tell people your goals. So you can't back out and you can't run away and make excuses. So, hey, number one, discover the different strategy. Number two, attend some free events and speak to people. Jump on Google, learn about Google. Find a JV partner if you want to. Consider your own circumstance and then tell the entire world that this is what I intend to achieve. Because when we don't do that, we start making excuses. Oh, do you know what? I'm really busy at work. Oh, you know what? I'll start it next year. Oh, you know, I don't have the money right now. These are excuses. So once you get an accountability partner, maybe it's even a business partner, just someone that says, hey, you know what? You're making excuses. Get going. Go and do it. Start the business. That's what you need. OK, so number one we said is discover um, a strategy. Uh, what else was there? Attend events. Um, consider your own circumstance. Get an accountability partner. And um, most important one, and this is the mistake a lot of people make. Income goals. So consider what your income goals are. What my income goals are are different to yours. So if I say, hey, I'm making a million pound a month, that shouldn't really sway you. That shouldn't make you jump at whatever I'm offering because that's my circumstance. That's my situation. What is it that you need? Is it that you need to quit your job so you can spend more time with your family? Is it that you want an additional income of two or three thousand pound a month so you can travel the world? Is it that you want to put aside a chunk of change because your child is going to go to university soon? Or is it you just so you need to decide what's important to you, not what's important to someone else or what someone else is offering or whatever song and dance someone else is making or whatever income someone else is making. What are your income goals? So, hey, break it down and say, hey, this is what I need to earn. I'm currently on £25,000 a year, or let's say £24,000 a year. Let's say there was no tax in this world. And let's say you were taking them £2,000 a month. Then you need to reverse engineer that property strategy and say, hey, these are how many properties I need to replace my income. So maybe I need two properties generating 1,200 a month. So you might consider service accommodation. Maybe I need 10,000 pound a month. So you might consider sourcing. Say you need um, 500 pound a month. You might consider a HMO. It's an, you need um, a 30,000 pound um, boost. You might consider doing a flip. Um, you know, there are so many strategies out there, but don't get carried away by other people's stories. Discover what you need to earn or what income you need and then go from there. Reverse engineer the entire thing. So I'll put that as number five for one simple reason. Because once you've decided and you've got all excited, then assess your income and say, hey, do you know what? I only need £2,000 a month. You know, a lot of people think we need that million pound and we need uh, £100,000 a month. To, you, you really don't. Because what we're looking for right now is to give you the opportunity to live life on your own terms. So it might just be an opportunity to replace your current income which might be two or three properties, which might be four properties, which might be five properties, and then rediscover. So go back to number one, rediscover the strategies within your income goals, considering your circumstance, then learn some more about it, speak to other people about it, and go from there. So I did mention that there were five things, and I've gone over them time and time and time and time again. So number one, discover the different property strategies. Um, I think I mentioned a few of them as well. Attend some events and speak to some people. Spend some time on Google. Um, yep, attend some events. Look for JV partners. Look for people that are ready to put their money up. Um, consider your circumstance. Get accountable. Set some income goals. And I've got a bonus for you. And this one's probably the most important one. So I saved it till last. So number six is start the bloody business. Start. Start. Otherwise, you're going to get fed up and tired of making excuses and you're never going to start. So my advice to you is start the business. Now, as I mentioned before, there are tons and tons of strategies that you can use, but you need to know what works. You need to know and get beyond the crap and the rubbish that you're going to be sold. And you need to find out for yourself whether these strategies will help you generate what you need to generate and break out of the system and generate yourself some income so you can travel the world and live a good life and do whatever you want to do. But again, I wish you all the best. Enjoy this video. Um, as YouTubers would say, like, subscribe, comment. No, I'm not. What? No, what? Well, anyway, I'm talking rubbish. But look, guys.
I look forward to spending some more time with you. Um, if you need any further assistance, let me know if there's a specific video you would like me to make regarding getting started in property or um, generating an income from a specific specific property strategy, then, then let me know. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah.